my name is Dana Johnson and today I'd like to share with you a recipe how to make a cold shell macaroni salad with cherry tomatoes and broccoli. So I'm going to start out with some medium size seashell um, macaronis right here. They've already been cooked. Put them in cold water to make sure that the cooking has stopped. Get that out of room temperature because we're going to be using mayonnaise. So there's the one cup. I'm also going to add in some hard cooked peeled eggs and this is so convenient. Eglin's Best has them right in the egg section at the store already done up for you. I'm going to use my egg slicer. Once on the vertical, once on the horizontal. And use two eggs. In this recipe, of course, you can double it, triple it, quadruple it. Now you can choose to, for your broccoli, you can get these little florets. You can either steam them slightly or you can just put them in raw for that extra crunch. And that's what I'm going to do in about a half a cup. Yeah, you know, I also found these wonderful cherry tomatoes on the vine. So I've washed them, taken them off the vine and sliced them in half. I'll use about six of those. Go ahead and add in a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Any kind of mayonnaise. You can use the regular, the light, the low fat, the fat free. I think they make one with olive oil now too. And I'm going to use some deli mustard, a teaspoon of that. Oh, this is just how it's supposed to look, incorporating wonderful colors and flavors together. Okay, so I'm going to go through my Ferris wheel. Oh, right here on top. This is it, some Italian seasoning. I think Italian seasoning is always a, a sure standby right here, especially if you're using broccoli tomatoes. Put in about a teaspoon of that. Really enhance the broccoli and the tomato flavor. Go ahead and start incorporating in the ingredients and all these wonderful colors. Beautiful and tasty. So now that you know how to make the cold shell macaroni salad with cherry tomatoes and broccoli, you might wonder what you can serve it with. The choices are really endless. I'd say do choose any cut of your favorite meat, grill it up, and you're going to have a wonderful, well-balanced meal. And for more recipes, please see me at danasfamilykitchen.com. Mm -hmm.